This morning, ADP released the April job numbers, and these are numbers for the private sector. I don't believe they include the public sector. But the number that jumped out to me that really just just leaped out was this one right here. It says median change in annual pay. In April, if you decided to stay at your job, according to their, their, their data here, ADP's data, you were likely likely to get a 6.7% increase in your annual pay. Likely to get that, that increase. But if you were what they call a job changer, you decided it was a good time, good time to leave your job. So in April you leave, well, there's a likelihood that you got or received a 13.2% increase in your annual pay that you would receive that amount. Now, this right here could be telling you, at least it, it suggests to me that, yeah, leaving your job, yeah, it's a good idea if you're looking to increase your pay. Now, there are certainly a lot of reasons to stay at your current position, especially if you're somebody who's older and you're over 50 and you know that it is more difficult. It takes more time for an older worker to find a new position. But if you have a position, a job, and it's a stable job, at least you feel like it's stable, but you still think there are, you know, there's a, a better opportunity down the road where, you know, what looking for a job could mean, possibly mean that you could get as much as, according to ADP, a 13.2% increase in your salary. So it's something that I think that should be considered if you are in a position right now, you're working right now. Now, here's something else that I'm going to suggest that you consider. And this is from Pro, ProPublica. They did a report, I think, that, I, that many of you probably have seen, it, especially if you watch my channel here on Over 50 TV. What they say is that 56% of workers, people who turn 50 and you're in your 50s, well, 56% of those workers are pushed out of their job. They're pushed out before they're ready to retire, and they're pushed out because of their age. So if you're looking at data, you're looking at the 6.7%, 13.2%, consider that 56% of workers who are older are pushed out of their job. And also consider this number. I think this is a, a number that really, when I first saw it, I was actually very, very surprised. Only one out of 10 of those older workers ever again earn as much money as they earned prior to being pushed out of their job because of their age. So it's a, it's a, it's a really sobering statistic that if you are an older worker, yeah, it may be more difficult to find a new job. If you're in a position and you feel comfortable and secure, well, you know what? Maybe you'd want to stay if you can accept that income. Now, inflation last I saw was around 5%, at least as of the end of March. So if you're getting a 6.7 or chance, possibly getting a 6.7% increase in your annual pay, you might say, you know what, Lou, I'm beating inflation. I, I'm going to stay here. But if you don't think your job's as stable as you'd like it to be, maybe you're in one of those industries like either possibly you could be in tech or maybe finance, especially in banking. We know what the turmoil is in the banking industry right now. Or maybe you're in real estate or you are in one of those industries that is subject to the to the economic uh, winds, the the winds that are blowing in right now, you know, you might be thinking, yeah, I'm going to be looking, I should look for another position where I, maybe I'm going to have some more stability. But this statistic right here could help you to make that decision. These two statistics. Here's the other thing. If you're somebody who is just not sure what to do and you decide you want to be a job stayer, consider starting a side hustle. Now, if you watch my channel, you watch me here at Over 50 TV, you know I'm recommending this all the time. I get so many comments from folks who tell me how unhappy they are. I mean, literally thousands of comments. I've got over a million and a half viewers here. So yeah, I get lots and lots of comments of people who say they're not happy. And I suggest starting a side hustle. Well, I just finished producing my 2023 Side Hustle Starter Kit. I've got a link to it in the description box if you want to check it out. But it walks you through the eight steps. What I say are the eight steps that I believe every aspiring entrepreneur should take if they want to start a business. Again, there's a link to it in the description box. As I always say, have a great day, everybody.